Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica and today I'm going to be filming a video talking about all of the five star romance books that I've ever read. So I started reading romance in 2019. So I've been reading romance for about three years. And in that three years, I have rated 25 books five stars, which I feel like is pretty low. I feel like I'm pretty stingy with my five stars. Um, I have to have like a certain feeling to really give it a five star. Um, if I like a book, but it's just not all the way there for me, then it's a four star book. Um, a five star are like my ride or die all time favorites, like perfect book for me. So with that being said, 25 books is a lot to talk about. I'm going to go through some of them kind of quickly because they're pretty well known or like if they're the first book in a, if I rated more than one book in a series, five stars, I'll just kind of talk about the first book. Yeah, let's jump into it. Also, this is not in any order. Um, I just was like writing down as I saw them on my Goodreads, but it's not necessarily the order that I read them in because I don't know why it's not, but Goodreads didn't have them in that order. So, all right, the first book that I have is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Looney! She's mad that she's on that side of the gate, but <laughs> she has to be for this. Hi, Looney! <laughs> Anyways, um, so I read, the first one is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. This is a, um, it's about a girl who has to move into her brother's apartment and her his neighbor lives across the street and they enter um kind of I think it's like an enemies to enemies with benefits situation. Um or it's kind of, it's more so like they're just gonna have no strings attached, just sex, no relationship is the agreement. So they enter into this agreement and obviously feelings start being involved um, and Miles has stuff that he's hiding from his past and it's very emotional It's but it's very good. Everyone loves this book. I feel like this is um, a very popular one but yeah it's definitely worth the hype in my opinion and it's one of my favorite Colin Hoover books so definitely check that one out if you haven't yet. Um, it's emotional but it's really good. The next two books I have on here are After One and the second After Book. And like I said before, these are the books that got me into reading romance. So they will always have a special place in my heart, even if the relationship is toxic as shit. Like they got me into the genre. I loved it. My dogs are squeaking a squeaky toy. Um, but I seriously, yeah, I loved these two first two books. The second two books I gave four stars. I also love them, but just not quite as much as the first two. The next book I read so long ago, I read it right after After that I don't really remember it, but um, I kind of refreshed my memory a little bit. It's Scoring Wilder by R.S. Gray, and this is a sports romance about a soccer player. I think she's a college, I think, yeah, she's either in college or it's, I don't think it's professional. I think it's in college. She's a soccer player, and um, this bad boy professional soccer player comes to be like their assistant coach, and he's completely off limits. But she wants him, and it's their romance, and this is super angsty. Um, it does remind me a little bit of Culty. I didn't rate Culty to five stars, so apparently I like this one more. It could just be because I read this, like, fresh into the romance genre. I don't know if this would still stand today as one of my favorites. But at the time, I really enjoyed it, and I remember it being really angsty. And, yeah, it's on the list as one of the books I rated five stars. Um, the next book on here which I'm hesitant to call this a romance I don't really think it's a romance um but I think that if you like romance you would like this book and there's a hint of the romance at the end all that to say it's, it ends with us by Colin Hoover um pretty much everyone has read this book at this point if you haven't um I think that you should it's really really good it's probably one of my favorite books of all time um I've said it before but I just super related to this book and for me, this is definitely one of my top books of all time. Um, the next book on here is The Deal by Elle Kennedy. And I also have The Goal, which is the fourth book in the off-campus series. Um, when I read The Deal, I just fell in love with it. It um, is about our main character, Hannah, and um, our hero, Garrett. And they enter into a like fake dating situation. And 
the tension and the angst in this book is so good. Um, their chemistry is like off the charts. And Hannah is dealing with her past. She was sexually assaulted. The way that Garrett handles that when it comes to them hooking up is so, he's so tender with it and just careful. And that's probably like my favorite scene in a rom romance book that I've ever read is them having sex for the first time. So yeah, and the goal is the fourth book. And I love that one too. Not as much as the deal, but it was still a five star for me. Sorry. I just traded out their toys and gave them one that's not squeaky anyways um the next book on this list is one of my favorite romances like definitely top and that's the wall of winnipeg and me this is by mariana sabata mariana sabata is queen of slow burn this follows our heroine who is the assistant to our hero and he is a football player and he's just like kind of awful to her he did like pretty much is not appreciative towards her at all, acts like she doesn't really exist. And so one day she up and quits and he comes crawling back and is begging her to come back to work for him and also is begging for her to marry him because he needs a green card. So they enter into this marriage of convenience situation and it is just so, so good. Um, the slow burn in this is like really slow burn but i like that um they weren't getting together until like the last couple of pages this is a book i want to reread but it's so long that it will take me a while to do and you know there's so many books there's a scene in here that i really loved they're like the way the hero showed his affection was very subtle but since he was such like a withdrawn person each little thing that he would give was like cute the heroine goes to some kind of convention i can't really remember what it's for now and it's like out of town and she's like sitting at her booth kind of having not a good time and then all of a sudden the hero walks in and she like didn't ask him to come she wasn't expecting him to come that's probably the scene i remember the most from this book i just loved that it was so cute the next book on my list is punk 57 by penelope douglas this follows characters that are in high school which i don't traditionally love but these characters for some reason it worked for me this follows two people that were pen pal to a girl and a boy that were pen pals like pretty much their whole life um and then one day the hero moves to the town the heroine lives in and he knows that it's her but she doesn't know that it's him and he sees her and realizes that she's kind of a shitty person and he gets really upset by this because that's not at all who she was in her letters. So then there are enemies and pretty much he starts like, he doesn't like her. He treats her like crap after that. He's just so upset with who she is as a person. And she doesn't really understand why he hates her so much. Um, but then obviously it turns into a romance. Definitely kind of a bully romance. Penelope Douglas says this so well. The next book I have on this list is Flow by Kennedy Ryan. This is a novella. It's point five in her grip series i think it's called um this is i read grip i gave it, it four stars i really liked it too but flow is them meeting for the first time and kind of the experience that they have together that was really really good this is also one that i read really early, early on so i don't remember too much about it but yeah the six days before then they get separated and then in grip they are reunited like years later the next one i have is grievous this is the second book in a series the first one is i'll put a picture up because i can't remember this follows sex worker who meets a guy in the mafia it's their romance um the first one's their romance the second one though something happens to her and she find out things about her past and just the way that he was there for her helping her through these things to me was i just really liked it and i really liked the way I liked him as a main character because he wasn't like over the top with her but you could tell like if anything happened to her like people were gonna pay um the next book it's actually a series so i have the royal heart series by ashley jade it's also fall characters in high school but again i really enjoyed them the first one is um childhood friends to enemies to lovers um, and that one was really good it follows dylan and i think his name is chase uh dylan used to live in their neighborhood and then she moved away and moved back and it's their romance it's really good my favorite in this series is the second one which follows cole and sawyer and sawyer is a plus size heroine and she's dylan from the first one's best friend and it's her romance with cole which is jace's brother and he's like a 
big athlete she loves to go to church she is like into school so they're definitely like unlikely to be together but the way that Cole pursues her and wants her is really great and she thinks um that she's like she just doesn't get why he wants her the fourth one in that series I also gave five stars but I can't tell you anything about it because it's spoilery so yes check that series out if you have it I personally really like that they're long books so um next I have Verity by Colleen Hoover this is like a romantic suspense and I feel like everyone's read this book it's about an author that gets contacted to go straight for this author that something bad happened to from her husband and it goes from there it's crazy but that book is really really good and it was the first Colleen Hoover book I ever read and loved it Next, I have Melt For You. Um, this is a book I've been talking about a lot lately, so I won't go into it too far. But this is, like, sort of enemies to lovers. They're not really enemies because they don't really know each other that well. But, um, like, annoying neighbor to lovers. Um, this is about a rugby player who moves in across the street and is loud and obnoxious. Um, but strikes up a deal with our heroine. And he's going to teach her the art of seduction so she can get the man that she wants it turns into their romance and I really love that one there's some really good body positivity in that book um, next I have touch of darkness this is a Hades and Persephone's retelling and this really worked for me um I loved the world in this book I felt like I could really picture it and see it and Hades and Persephone's their chemistry was really great the spot in this book was really hot just really liked that one I didn't ever read the second one though I don't know why and I think I would have to reread the first one to read the second one but maybe I'll do that someday next I have reminders by of him by Colleen Hoover and this does have romance in it but I said I wouldn't I didn't give this book five stars for the romance and um, the romance is kind of just it's cute and it's good but it's not what you know made this book five stars for me what made this book five stars for me was um the main character she recently got released from prison she had her daughter while she was in prison and it's her trying to reunite with her daughter and that storyline to me was really heartbreaking and I couldn't imagine what she was going to through as I'm a mom myself it was that aspect of the book that made this a five-star book for me and not so much the romance although the romance was good too the next book I have on this list is Exodus by Kate Stewart and I can't say too too much about this because it's pretty much spoilers for the first book but I really like this series um the first book I gave four stars this book was definitely five stars for me the tension in this book was so so good this was definitely forbidden and um for me I was just like on the edge of my seat waiting for the people that weren't supposed to know about this to find out and like yeah it was good this book was definitely hot um the hero in this book I loved um also um he would speak to her in French and that does it for me every time I love when they speak to her in another language she understood French too so it was just good the next book I have is Stolen Air by Sophie Lark this is the second book in the Brutal Birthright series this is Mikolaj and Nessa's story and Mikolaj is part of the Polish mafia and Nessa is the youngest Griffin sister. She is like a ballerina and she doesn't really have anything to do with their business side. She's kind of kept in the dark about things. Um, but Miko kidnaps her to get to them. And um, it's their romance. It's a loose Beauty and the Beast retelling. Watching him going from like not wanting her at all to wanting her was really, really good. And um, there's some really good scenes in this book and watching Nessa portrayed as like this you know, fragile character who is just like doesn't know anything and then she to watch her come on top of this situation was really great. Next we have Broken Vow by Sophie Lark also. This is the fifth book in the Brutal Birthright series. This is Riona and Raylan and it's um, a bodyguard romance and they Riona finds herself in need of a bodyguard because somebody is trying to hurt her and Raylan is that bodyguard and he takes her to his ranch um and it's really good forced proximity obviously too because he takes her there and yeah I love Raylan's family I loved watching him break down Riona's walls and 
really good. The last book on my list is A Deal with the Devil by Elizabeth O'Rourke. I also have talked about this a lot recently, but I loved this book. Um, I read the second one recently and gave it four stars, but this one was definitely a five star read for me. Um, and it's funny because something this has in common with The Wall of Winnipeg and me is that she is his assistant, but not in like an office. It's at their home. So I think maybe I like that because um, it's kind of like workplace, but more of a forced proximity because they're like working in the same house together. So I think that's something I really like. This is about um, our heroine who uh, she's going to be a temporary assistant for our hero who is a plastic surgeon and she does not like him at all. thinks she's like a womanizer and um, it's their romance and it's really good. The banter in this book was so, so good um, and just watching their relationship form was good. This book genuinely made me laugh like and it wasn't corny or cheesy like the humor in this was just my cup of tea and yeah it was really good um the third act breakup in this i could see why these two characters like weren't together and you know you were kind of screaming at her she was just trying, kind of putting herself on the back burner for her family and you were just like no be with him but i think it was done really really well and um elizabeth O'Rourke is definitely an author that i'm going to continue reading i really like the way she writes so if you haven't checked out A Deal with the Devil or her books in general, definitely give them a go. Looking at this list, it's interesting to see, it's easy to see like the things that I like in romance books. Um, like I definitely like Forced Proximity. A lot of these have Forced Proximity. I like um, sports romance. A lot of these are sports romances. Definitely like Enemies to Lovers. A lot of these are Enemies to Lovers. Um, angst. I already knew that. Love good angst. Mafia. I have a couple of mafia books on here. I love mafia romances. I think I really like a school setting in books too because a few of these have that. Like um, they're either on a campus or in high school. I feel like now I'm at the point in my reading where I know what I like and what I don't like. So hopefully I'll have a lot more five stars in my future and I can share those with you. But that's all for me today. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.